Thank you for joining us and welcome to our Lumivate product training to learn more about using Lumivate in your trade show booth experience. Our host today is Nick Brems, Solution Consultant. Nick. Thanks, Aaron. Hello. Welcome to this week's Lumivate product webinar. Like Aaron said, my name is Nick Brems, and I'm here, I'm here to showcase to you how you can add a digital element to your booth experience using Lumivate. Before we get started, I just want to say if anyone has any questions at any point in time, please feel free to enter them in the chat and me or Aaron will try to answer them as quickly as possible. So with that being said, let's get started. So we really have to set the stage here. Um, the last two to three years have been incredibly difficult for countless people, individuals, organizations. It's no joke. COVID-19 was very a very difficult time for a lot of people but it does feel like there's kind of a light at the end of the tunnel as a matter of fact 40 percent of americans already kind of believe that COVID is over and it's time to get back to normal so the question you might be asking yourself is what does normal look like how do we transition from a post-covid world back to in-person events such as trade shows well the reality is it's already started. Statistics actually show that in-person event requests have jumped up 27% since the start of 2022. And that number is continuing to grow every single day. Of these events, trade, show, trade shows are a very big interaction that are making a comeback. It's no secret that people are ready to move on and get back to business as usual. With people ready to get back in the world, there's only one question on your mind. How can adding a digital element to trade show booths help me stand out? Well, you can use Lumivate and add a digital element to your trade show booths. So first we have to ask the question, what is a digital element? A digital element, in short, really is anything that's digitally done to help benefit your business. That can be product information, online content, or even an online service. But what we're talking about specifically today is a digital element is a tool that's going to help your business stand out, grow your network, generate sales leads, or just create a better environment for your potential clients at trade shows. Everyone at a trade show has a smartphone, and some might even have two. It's the 21st century. People always have phones in their hands, and it's very foolish to think otherwise. Let's harness those screens and start using using it to our advantage. With Lumivate, you can generate QR codes and NFC activations to have, to have an ease of access as well as quick contactless connection. You can show all what your booth has to offer with virtual, uh, a virtual tour using our interactive image component. And lastly, you can use our forum components as well as our integrations with Salesforce or our own table builder to help generate sales leads at the touch of a button and hit those marks. So today, we actually have two different demos that we're going to showcase to you. One experience is more of an internal booth management, and, and, the, and another one is the external trade show attendee. So let's get started, and we'll start off with the booth, man, booth management. So like I said, our booth management template is it's used for internal use, whether you're an employee at a trade show or running the whole, sh running the whole show. This experience is really going to help you it's going to help you showcase what exactly it is that you want to show at these trade shows. And it's there to make sure that your employees are there promptly ready to go. So for starters on our booth home, you know, it's, it's a typical home screen that you have that will take you throughout the, throughout the experience with these experiences. We have, we have pages such as talking points throughout these booths. You'll usually have one or two public speakers. Um, so it's good to have talking points for these speakers so they don't fall off track. We also have a booth schedule. If you have different employees that are coming in at different points in times, it's good to know what day an employee is supposed to be there and what station they're at. We also have something known as lead registration, which actually uses our form components. And it can also be integrated with Salesforce to help generate contact information from the experience into your own data. And then you can use that for future reference, whether you need contact information or have a sales lead. So let's just kind of take take you through this experience here. Uh, so our booth overview, 
once it loads. Our booth overview, overview uses our interactive image component. And like I said previously, this is kind of like a booth tour, uh, but this is mostly for employees working there. Our each, each button clicked here will showcase a different instance of what the booth is supposed to be there for. So section A is, it shows the schedule of who, which employee has to be at that location at what time. If you go to B, it's relatively the same. It's, a, it's the same schedule as well. And then C, we have meeting area one, which is just a high top table that can seat four people. And D is another high top table for two people. So it's just it's just a little tour to showcase what exactly the booth is, is what it's supposed to look like and what each each location is supposed to be doing. So onto the booth schedule, um, like I said, this is really just to keep on tr keep employees on track so they know exactly where they need to go. Uh, in this instance, we have this booth has two different days that they have to work: October eighteenth and nineteenth. So each. Each one here has their own different schedule. So, we, you know, you have like Michael Carter in section A, Jeffrey Gibbs in section B. But if we go to October 19th, we realize that Jeffrey Gibbs is now in section A and Michael Carter is down here in section B. Um, once again, just to showcase for the employees where they're supposed to be at what time. Our contact list. This is used internally. So employees, if they have any issues, if they need to speak with someone, they have all of their contact information using our card components. Each card here, you can click on it and it generates a phone number that you can call on your mobile device. Now, in this instance, if I were to click on it, it would ask me to FaceTime a random number. We're not going to do that here. Um, but these components are very easy to implement. And I, could, I can actually showcase that really quickly. So here we have William Archer's card. And here we just have it connected to the telephone number of fives. So if I were to click on William Archer, it would be asking me if I wanted to FaceTime someone with, with that number. Second. So event information. This, this, is, um, this is more a general information about where the event is being held um, and any information that employees that might be coming from out of town need to know. Uh, in this instance, it is at Indianapolis, Indiana, and the employees will be staying at the JW Marriott. So it says when the check-in is, as well as what day they're allowed to check in at. And we also have our Google Maps integration here that showcases the location of where the event center is, where this trade show will be, will be on. Our lead capture, this is what uses our form component. And like I said, this is how we generate contact information that gets uploaded into, into our, uh, our own data. So in this instance, I have our lead capture form is connected to our table builder. So if I were to enter information here, Nick, Okay, submit. Sorry. So, as you can see, this information was entered. Um, so now if we go to our data fields here and you can see in our table builder and our lead registration table built, you can see that this information that I just entered has now been entered into my own data storage. I can now use this information to generate a sales lead, have contact information. I can export this into a CVS if I wish. Oh, excuse me. But it's it's a very easy component, which is actually now a template that customers will be able to use moving forward. If if anyone has any questions about forms, um, this these forms templates are going to be available to any any Lumivate customers that they can use for any of their experiences. Lastly, is our talking point section. Like I said, this is for our employees that are maybe giving a seminar or having a speech. They have different different bits of information that need, they need to uh, understand and different talking points so they don't get off track and they can stay focused on what they need to talk about. So 
That is one use case, which is our booth management for internal use. Our other use case is our trade show attendee. Now, the name says it all. This is specifically used for customers or clients that come to our booths, scan their QR codes so they can learn more about what the booth has to offer or uh, anything about the company itself. Um, so as you can see here, typical home screen kind of tells you about, you know, welcome to our forum. And here's some information. It gives, in this instance, this is just something quick that I built. It's just this uh, BioTrust has three different pro products that they sell, glucose, glucose monitoring, pacemakers, and sinus irrigation. Our About Us page, it, this is your chance to talk about your specific organization and really kind of get your foot in the door with anyone who's going to scan their QR codes um, or, or their NFCs. This is, this is primarily used for people who might not know your organization. So this is a really, this is a really crucial moment where you can tell a story and really leave a mark on, on these potential clients. So it has, you know, the, just kind of like a little bio about what BioTrust does and then what they specialize in, cardiovascular, diabetes care, and neuroscience. We also have three different products that are listed here. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It shows what the product is, a glucose monitoring system, and then it showcases the features. So anyone who comes to your booth and is unaware of what you sell or what they could use it for. These pages are just giving you product information on how to accurately depict um, depict what it is that your company does. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty pretty easy. Um, but these are these are just a few examples of how a digital element can be added to your booths to really showcase benefit to your organization and to anyone coming to your booth. Nick, we have a few questions here. Um, what are the top three content elements someone should include in an on-site uh, booth at for you know their customer, their their company sales team? Okay, yeah. Um, so, couple couple of elements that are very that would be very crucial would be uh, product information. You know. This is when potential clients are going to come to your booth. And so you want them to know what exactly it is that you're selling to them. Having a digital product, it it's only, or a digital product information experience, it's only going to benefit people who, it's, it's going to benefit everyone being able to see what exactly it is your product catalog and how that works. Another thing is kind of what we showcased here, the uh, an About Us page. Like I said before, this is your opportunity to put your foot in the door with a customer. You can sell your company's culture and you can make this customer understand you a bit better. They might not know the name of your organization, what exactly you do. So this is your time to sell your mission statement or even tell a story. And lastly, I would say the, the lead registration or any form component added in. Um, using forms is incredibly important at trade shows. Uh, people are swapping business cards left and right. So it's it's very important to use this form component so you can generate these sales leads, create this contact and and really build your um, build your network out. Great, thanks, Nick. A few others um, here. How will data collected on the show floor um, from booth attendees integrate into uh, someone's Salesforce app? Okay, yeah. Um, so with our Salesforce integration, you can actually set up your Salesforce to be linked to your specific experiences. In this case, it would be one of your booth experiences. And then any form that you add in that's tied to Salesforce, that information will automatically be added into your Salesforce via our integrations. And then that information will be stored for you to use at your leisure. If you don't have a Salesforce you can use our table builder, which is our in-house database management system, essentially. And you can you can import and export that data via CSV at any point in time. Great. And one more here. Um, what is the benefit of a digital experience versus 
printed marketing materials, especially at a uh, uh, trade show or an event. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits. Um, a couple off the top of my head would have to be that, you know, at these trade shows, you usually see people carrying around folders full of different papers. And so having a digital experience, just being able to fit in someone's pocket, that really that really helps you stand out. Um, instead of having to get lost in the folder full of 20, 30 different sheets of paper, having that digital element makes it much more organized and easier for someone to access. Another reason is we actually have a component that you can save an experience to your home screen. And if you save, if you can save an experience to your home screen, that means it's much harder for you to lose. And it's right there in front of you when you open up your phone and it's much easier to access. And like I said, you know, as a whole, this is all just going to help you stand out from your competition. And it's really going to kind of put you on that next tier.